Hello my shimmering stars today I Shora Grover welcome you all to this amazing platform of PW English students today I am here before you to discuss about how to excel in inorganic chemistry I very well know that you all are preparing for competitive exams and many times what happen is we are not able to learn reactions we are not able to you know understand the theoretical concept of inorganic chemistry so how to do that ma'am what are the ways or what are the tips in order to you know complete the inorganic chemistry in a quicker amount of time or in a faster way right so students before starting that there is a very beautiful code that is not only going to help you in your life but also it is going to tell you how to cover your backlogs life is you know much beautiful if you live in the present moment that means if you have any backlog or if you have you know anything which you have not done in the past if you will stay in that concept that i have not done i have to do a lot of work and all of that stuff students you are not going to move further you will stay over there but if you will think like this that yes i have to do and i only have this amount of time let's not waste it remembering the past work that i have not done you know that is a good way to move further to move you know in a better way so it's better to not waste your time remembering what you have not done or what you have to do rather than doing it right so students let's start with the tip section let's start with the strategies related to excel in organic chemistry now see students the very first tip is we very well know that inorganic chemistry is a subject where you need to you know uh read through ncrt why is it so ma'am because it is a theoretical kind of a subject if i'll correlate with physical and organic chemistry physical chemistry basically somewhat has some formulas you know have it do have some deep knowledge about it do have some you know um, the topics that i would say that takes time the understandable part but uh in physical you have a lot of more numericals right where you need to practice questions but in the case of organic you have a lot of reactions you have mechanisms right but what about inorganic chemistry it is a theoretical concept you need to you know sometimes learn a lot of reactions sometimes learn a lot of concepts so for that the best way is when so ever you are you know understanding for example you are watching our lecture okay you have seen any of the lectures okay and now you want to revise it how you are going to revise it after looking up to the lecture or after studying by your own whatsoever you feel okay with right what you can do is open up your ncrt books after that read line to line ncrt in an inorganic chemistry we always say that do read line to line ncrt because each line in ncrt is not just a line it has a whole meaning in it right so it's not like when you are going to read it for once you are going to get the complete subject no not at all when you will read twice or thrice you will be able to understand each and every line holds its meaning right so the very first tips or the tip i would say or the strategies pick up and read your ncrt book topic to topic wise not chapter to chapter wise topic to topic wise that is the best way to do uh, you know ncrt books in inorganic chemistry now students moving further um you know the next part we do read ncrt ma'am right now you are you know students of 11th and 12th standard and um, i feel that you should know how to read a particular book for that reading is not necessary as you know this is a subjective part you have to cover it so what you can do is you can underline the important key highlights or the ncrt highlights so that when so ever during examination neat or jee or even your boards what you can do is when you are opening your ncrt books your you know um, complete you know highlight should go on that underlined part that yes oh i have underlined this that means i have to read it again so that is going to be your ncrt highlights that you are going to underline or you can use even a highlighter for that case right that means important key concepts you can even write in your ncrt or you can underline them so this is the next tip or the strategy in order to read and to understand inorganic chemistry okay now the next most important one and the easiest way to do inorganic chemistry is as you very well know we have all the you know the elements over here as you very well know we have a periodic table yeah everybody at their home do have a periodic table but students how to understand it is like first of all you know that we do have different blocks we have s block p block d block and the hydrogen one as well so basically in s block p block and d and f block what you can do is you can divide them according to their groups for example s block holds two groups group 1 and group 
study them individually right similarly in the p block let us consider the, these are the p block elements like boron family carbon family nitrogen oxygen fluorine and the neon right so basically these are different groups in the p block elements right take one one group and cover them individually cover each and every group that is going to help you a lot for example for example students first of all take your boron family complete your boron family the boron group right that includes boron aluminium gallium indium thallium complete them in detail first of all cover the general properties the physical properties the chemical properties that's it in the same way go with the carbon one then nitrogen oxygen fluorine and then neon you very well know the p block elements basically in your class 11th we do have boron and carbon family and in class 12th we have from nitrogen to neon that means from group number 15 to 18 so p block chapter is really really important if we'll talk about the block elements part right similarly you can do for dnf block cover the d block first and then the f block right so this is the best way in order to do for the you know groups chapter other than this let me tell you for inorganic chemistry coordination compounds also holds a very important role similarly chemical bonding holds a very important role the periodic classification chapter and chemical bonding from class 11th is very important from class 12th other than blocks yes coordination compounds a lot of questions are asked right so you can cover them one by one group by group next tip is basically to create charts right so this is the best way in order to learn this to create charts you can you know see this this is basically based upon all the physical properties that means for atomic radii for electron affinity for ionization energy for metallic and the non metallic character then we have for atomic radii again the see this is basically in a group this is basically in a period right so this is ionization electron affinity in a group so basically you can create such tables so that you can you know short that you know you can uh, break that complete complex part into the shorter ones right and you can understand them in depth other than this students you can you know create some tricks for learning the periodic table yes in the form of music in the form of song you can learn the complete periodic table so tricks the maps uh, you know the mind maps you can create over here of all the reactions create mind maps of all the reactions create charts for you know learning the concept in a uh, easy way right moving on to the next uh, next part and the last part is practice makes perfect right practice makes a man perfect we very well know we have heard this quote you know from the smaller classes also but we have to apply this in our life that means you have to revise each and every topic okay just by listening or just by reading doesn't make so sense students that you are going to do for a particular interval of time but if you are revising you are revising till your examination that means you are making it more perfect so practice will make you perfect moreover after understanding you need to apply that on questions as well that means a daily practice of questions is also necessary now the best way which i always tell my students is what you can do is students uh, start with 3 3 3 days like in a 3 days do 15 15 15 questions of each and every subject then next 3 days you know increase that to 20 20 20 questions then next 3 days come to 25 so this is going to you know create a consistency as well as you going to practice a lot of questions so with practice you will automatically be perfect right everyone so i hope so students uh, these tips and strategies will help you in order to you know understand and excel in inorganic chemistry thank you so much my dear students have a good day take care of yourself